had lived in relative peace for generations. Though some of their race sided with the marauding orcs during the Second War, most goblins have remained neutral throughout the various conflicts between the Alliance and Horde. Ruled over by corrupt yet highly affluent trade princes, the goblins created a virtual paradise for themselves throughout the islands of the South Seas. Their ingenious feats of engineering and vast trade fleets helped make their island capital of Kazan one of the great technological wonders of the world. But now, as the elements themselves rise up in anger across the world, the goblins' mechanical paradise will be put to the test. For very soon, fate will force them to choose sides in a conflict that will shape the very history of the world. Hey, welcome to this new series. This series will be about the lore of WoW Zones. I'll be making as I'm playing through my Goblin Warlock to 100. You'll be on the server Korog US. Every zone I am questing through will have a video. The video will be about the lore of the zone because some people don't like reading quest text or just new to the game and don't understand the lore yet or certain things confuses them. So the first zone I would do is a goblin zone called Kazan. Kazan is located in the South Seas. It is home of the Vigil Water Cartel Goblins who joined the Horde in Cataclysm. Kazan is one of the most technological cities in Azeroth. It's full of greedy and sleazy goblins. Kazan is used as a trade city where goblins trade across the world but in the end will gain more than lose since goblins crave for wealth. The zone is very polluted and has crazy swirly roads and the goblins have very large buildings. Gazan was inhabited of jungle trolls and goblins. At first the trolls used the goblins as slaves to mine and to collect materials. When the goblins discovered Kajamite, their intelligence grew and gained advantage over the trolls and in the end took over Kazan. The capital was first called Anamun where the trolls lived but now since the goblins have taken over the island it is there is a keep to mine all the Kajamite and gold. Before joining the Horde, Kazan was a neutral city made to trade for the Alliance and the Horde. But since they gained help from the Horde and the Lost Isles, they have valued their support and joined them. Although some of them didn't want to join, instead they stayed neutral. Kazan is one of the largest islands in the South Seas. It consists of a tropical environment. When the Goblins took over the Undermine, the island changed more into a technological and the environment disappeared because of pollution and all the massive buildings it has. In the middle of Kazan is a volcano called Mount Kajaro. The volcano created the Kajamite the Goblins have found. When you're leveling as a Goblin, Deathwing came to the island and erupted the volcano, forcing the local Goblins and Trolls to evacuate, hoping that they would not turn into ashes. For lore of the Goblin, you're one of the executives of the trade company in Kazan. You and your employees are trying to make you the next trade prince, while Gallywix, the leader of the Bajil Cartel Goblins, is sabotaging you. As you progress through the zone, it looks like everything goes in favor, till Deathwing shows up and blows up the volcano. Gallywix took this as advantage and made it look like it was your fault and you owe him a bazillion moolah. As you gather the money, your assistants made it to take the chance and make it, it to take Gallywick's yacht before he escapes with you, but unfortunately you're double-crossed by your employees. Now you become one of his slaves and he's taken all your valuables away from you. Alright, so that is all of the lore I researched for Kazan and the starting part of the Goblin Zone. If you got any other questions, comment below of this video and more of these videos will be posted the more progressive my goblins. Thanks for watching and have a good one.